Here how it looks the desk when I'm working on some kind of DIY project. It's a total mess. Tools, wires, electronic components everywhere. But always I am gonna finish the project till end. Let's start today's video. Hello Hectubers and welcome back to my channel and to my studio and here it is my latest DIY project. And before I start explaining this project let me remind you of my old sound project which turned out pretty cool and amazing. It's a sound synthesizer that you can change sounds with pots or you can use these light sensors. If you want to watch this project, please visit the link below. Thank you. Now let's proceed to today DIY project, which is called Automatic Motion Sensor for Lights. Okay. And before explaining all about this box, let me explain the, the circuit. Here it is. It's drawn in 2023 and I have made a couple of these pure motion LED spotlight circuit. I don't know why I title like that, but it's a pure motion circuit for any kind of bulbs or LED lamps. As I said, here it is the whole schematic for making this project and we're gonna start from adding a fuse for the whole circuit to be protected from the direct line AC voltage go to the transformer from here we're gonna drop the voltage from 220 volts to AC 6 volt that need to be converted into DC voltage using a bridge rectifier and here we get uh, plus and minus 6 volt DC voltage I also use a voltage regulator 5 volts so I can power this circuit which is a pure sensor using a 1 kilo ohm resistor to control the n-pen transistor that will control the relay and the relay will control with on or off the the lamp or the bulb also here we're gonna add one more fuse and here it is the whole circuit if you want to to build a project like this one here it is one of my auto motion LED reflectors and here it is another one there is the box with the mo pure motion sensor that control the LED reflector at front of the box we have the pure motion sensor and one 5 mm LED blinking LED and here the pure motion sensor together with the 5 volt relay there is the transistor for controlling the relay two wires 
that are for the output for the bulb. These thin wires are 5 volts for powering the peer motion sensor and the, the relay. I have used also a 1 kilo ohm resistor for the LED, 5 mm self blinking LED that we will indicate that the whole circuit is working. Okay. Here I have a connector for connecting the direct line and the out for the bulb. Here it is the fuse and from direct line go to the fuse, from here go to the transformer and from the transformer the AC voltage goes, you can see here, to the bridge rectifier. Here it is the voltage regulator 5 volts and from here goes to the peer motion sensor and the relay. That's it. Now I'm gonna close it and test it. By the way, if you like this project, please share it and give a like. That means a lot to me. It means that you like my content and I will proceed to make great DIY project just like this one. It's a 100% finish it. And just to explain here, on these two terminals, you connect the direct AC line of 220 volts here and here, it's as, and on these two terminals, you're gonna connect the bulb or the LED reflector. I found this old box. I miss the lead, but I make my own lead from PVC pipe. Everything is tight with screws for the peer motion sensor, for the transformer, for the voltage regulator here, for the fuse. Everything is good. Everything is connected. The bulb on the output and here I have 220 volt AC. I'm gonna plug it. The blinking LED means that it's working. But why the bulb is not turned on? Because the peer motion sensor detects light and this will work only at night. If I cover, there is still bright in my studio, I'm gonna turn it off the lights, the studio lights, it's right now, nope, yes, it's working, when it detects movement in night, the bulb will be turned on, for a time that you can choose on the peer motion sensor which is good now should be turn it off come on waiting that's it it's working fine let's try it one more time Yes. I like this kind of project which are very useful but let me remind you that it's very dangerous to work with 220 volts AC voltage. Please be careful. That was all for today project. Please give a like, share the video and subscribe to my channel.
See ya.